Good morning friends welcome to SBI Securities Morning Podcast In today's podcast we'll be discussing what to expect in Nifty and Bank Nifty from here on as well as the crucial levels for both the indices I uh, will also be discussing on the key sectors and stocks in focus in trade today as well as the next few trading sessions uh, First up coming to the update uh, uh, in the global markets in trade yesterday uh, So if you see uh, from the global market perspective the uh, US markets Uh, they witnessed a significant drop that is nasdaq especially so the nasdaq index experienced a significant drop of 1.3% driven by a slump in tech stocks meanwhile the s&p 500 also declined by 0.5% while in contrast the dow ended the day on a positive note climbing higher by 0.5% going ahead uh, primarily for s&p 500 the zone of 5400 5390 will act as the immediate support Any sustainable move below the levels of 5390 will lead to further selling pressure in the index up to the levels of 5340 in the short term while on the upside uh, the zone of 5480 5500 will act as the immediate hurdle Coming to the update regarding Brent oil so Brent oil has continued its uh, downward journey and ended below $79 a barrel for the first time after 38 trading sessions Going ahead the zone of 77 76.5 will act as the crucial support for Brent oil as a prior swing low is placed in that region. Any sustainable move below the levels of 76.5 will lead to selling pressure up to the levels of 73 in the short term. Coming to the update regarding the US dollar index so uh, the dollar index has failed to sustain above its 50 day EMA that is 104.78 and thereafter witnessed a correction and ended below 104.50 level going ahead 104 will be the crucial support for the dollar index coming to the update regarding nifty so in trade yesterday uh, the benchmark index nifty traded in the narrow range of 173 points which was its lowest daily range in the last eight trading sessions uh, during the session it marked a high of 24971 and thereafter it witnessed profit booking in the last hour of trade uh, if we see the candlestick pattern on the daily scale that is it has formed a gravestone doji candlestick pattern uh, which indicates selling pressure at higher levels going ahead for nifty the zone of 24710 will act as the immediate support for the index if the index slips below 24710 the next support is placed in the zone of 20, 24580 levels On the upside if we see the resistance has shifted lower in the zone of 24970 25000 levels so that's the immediate resistance for the index any sustainable move above the levels of 25000 will lead to a sharp upside rally towards 25130 followed by 25240 levels coming to the derivative data so the august futures ended on a flat note and the cumulative open interest of the current next and far series has surged by 2.2% among the constituents of the nifty index 13 stocks have witnessed long build up and 11 stocks have witnessed a short covering rally while 19 stocks have witnessed short build up and 7 stocks have witnessed long unwinding coming to the option chain data so 24900 strike has significant call open interest followed by the 25000 strike and on the put side if we see 24800 has significant open interest followed by 24700 strike uh, for the current uh, weekly expiry we have the pcr which is at 1.09 while for the monthly expiry the pcr is at 1.48 Uh, now coming to the update regarding bank nifty uh, so for the second consecutive trading session bank nifty has formed a small body candle with a long upper shadow which indicates selling pressure at higher levels the daily rsi is still trading below its 9 day average which shows a lack of strength in the index today due to the um, july monthly series we may witness high volatility in bank nifty Uh, going ahead the zone of 51200 will act as the immediate support for the index any sustainable move below the levels of 51200 will lead to further selling pressure in the index up to the levels of 50700 while on the upside if we see resistance has shifted lower towards the levels of 51850 51900 levels any sustainable move above the levels of 51900 
will lead to a sharp rally towards 52400 in the short term coming to the derivative data so the july futures ended higher by 0.26% and the cumulative open interest of the current next and far series has dipped by 3.61% Uh, if we look at the option chain data that is for today's expiry we have 51500 strike which has significant call open interest followed by the 52000 strike and on the put side it is primarily seen in 51000 uh, followed by 50500 uh, for today's expiry if we see the pcr is at 0.76 and the max pain is at 51500 coming to the key market indicators so we have the volatility index uh, which has been trading in the zone of 11.27 and 13.2 since the last four trading sessions going ahead any sustainable move below the levels of 11.6 will lead to further correction towards 9.9 in the short term the advance decline ratio was largely tilted in favor of the advancing counters in trade yesterday uh, now coming to the key sectors so technically nifty auto nifty pharma Uh, nifty healthcare it oil and gas cpsc consumer durable and psc sectors are likely to continue their outperformance in the short term on trade in tuesday some selective stocks from chemical and fertilizer space witnessed bullish momentum along with robust volumes we believe they are likely to continue their positive trajectory coming to the fii di data so in trade yesterday fii sold to the tune of 5598 crores while dis purchased to the tune of 5565 crores uh, if we see the fi long short ratio for index futures it is at 66.05 on a net basis this as they purchased about 6080 index futures in trade yesterday on the stock futures front if we see fi's are sold to the tune of 21901 contracts while on the options front fi's purchased 64687 call contracts and they simultaneously purchased 49700 put option contracts so friends that's all for today thank you for regularly listening to our podcast uh, wishing you all a happy trading session thank you investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing